kids, I'm going to teach you 10 ways to survive if you think that your life is a horror movie. Number one. If it is dark, if you are walking into a dark house, if it is nighttime and you hear a suspicious sound, I'm really, really scared. I better turn on some lights. Wow, that was hard. Turn on a goddamn light. I don't understand the mentality of the people in the movies who walk around silently in the dark. If you suspect somebody is in your house trying to kill you, why wouldn't you try to see the person? I don't get it! Number two. If you suspect something shady is going on, pick up an animal. A cute, fuzzy animal. Gee, Solomon, I sure hope we're safe. Oh yeah, that's right, we are. Who the fuck kills somebody holding a kitten? In what horror movie ever was the protagonist walking around her house carrying a cat and getting chased by a murderer? Oh, that's right. Never. Because it doesn't happen. Number three. Dance, dance. You guys remember that song from like fourth grade? Uh -oh. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Everything will be alright if you keep me next to you. You don't know about me, but I'll bet you want to. are you're probably as bad of a dancer as I am and they'll be too scared to attack you because they'll be scared they'll get killed from your flamboyant emotions. Four! Walk around your house screaming generic scary words. Knives! Guts! Graveyard! You probably won't end up frightening the entity or whatever is coming after you but you'll end up weirding it out so much that it leaves your house. So, number five. Nobody wants to mess with somebody who is clearly doing something. What the fuck do you want? We've all been in the spot where you're trying really hard to do something and then somebody keeps interrupting you. I might just be speaking for myself, but when that person taps me on the fucking shoulder, I am ready to... F number six. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh my god, am I on fire? Believable rendition of somebody on fire, right? I think it would prove surprisingly effective against a murderer. If you saw somebody, like, obviously stop, dropping, and rolling, wouldn't you leave? Do you want to get caught on fire? No, murderers are people too, yeah. Nobody aspires to catch on fire. Number seven. Preach the Bible. Ooh, holy. What would people think if they knew that I'm a Jesus freak? Actually, not 100% this could work because I want to kill a lot of these overly religious people. Number eight, be creepy. <coughs> so fucking creepy that if you saw yourself on the street, you would cross the street to avoid walking next to yourself on the street. The creepy you. Number nine, drink a lot. Of coffee. I like coffee. I like coffee. So much coffee, you think that you're on crack. Oh my god, there's somebody running through my house. I didn't know there was somebody running through my house. Oh my god, I'm getting chased. This is so much fun. <laughs> Are you a murderer? I didn't know. I didn't know I'm gonna get killed. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> I'm on the floor. Yay, wait. Wait, where'd you go? We are playing a game. They probably won't even come to the chasing thing because when they hear how fast you're talking and how much you're shaking, they'll assume you're on like meth and meth gives people super strength and nobody wants to fucking try and kill somebody with super strength. Did anybody ever try and kill Superman? Is, is that a bad example? I never watched Superman. And, drum roll please. This is not a drum roll. Number 10. Assume from the beginning that you are in a horror movie. Devin, horror movies aren't real and like people who think they're in horror movies are like stupid. Correction, assuming you're in a horror movie might be a bit far-fetched. Just the bitches from House of Wax have decided the creepy man who offered them a ride in his truck that smelled like dead animals was probably a part of a murdering like regime, they would probably all still be alive and not be wax figurines in some damn ass museum. So. Take that however the fuck you will. Ten reasons. One through ten. I'm Devin the Entertainer. I'll see you at a later date. That didn't work, did it? I don't know how to. How sad is it that I'm out of breath after filming? 
that clip. Fucking dog. Shaking the fucking camera. Thanks. Thanks a whole lot.